Mata, the uh, the Lucario, definitely some good examples to draw from, specifically Armadillo, who has gone quite far in a few of these collision brackets, and indeed uh, many Wi-Fi brackets in himself. Plenty of examples of solid Diddy play online, specifically Rivers and Aaron come to mind pretty readily. But on FD, uh, yeah, we know how Diddy can uh, can be on this map, but right now Mata seems to be getting the slight better betterment of him. And one thing I want to mention about FD is, you know, Diddy Kong is a little weird. I think Diddy Kong can be considered really good in this map, but I've started to think more recently he may not be super great in this map, because he doesn't have quite the stage control of Banana like, as he did in Smash 4 and um, Brawl. Due to like factors like the game engine allowing you to move a lot more, um, less bananas, like you have to crawl. So I feel like this stage isn't as overwhelming. This is a very recent thing. And I think Lucario actually likes FD because he can live kind of long here. And that Aura Sphere controls a lot of the stage pretty freely, all along with Lucario's movement, letting him like kind of make it hard to evade it, you know? Like you can't stay on the ground without shielding Aura Sphere type thing. There's no platform to hide from versus it. But uh. And yeah, that's just like a more recent thought. So, currently, you know. Alright, okay, are we back? Yeah, we're back. Did you have my cutout or something? Okay, cool. Yeah, no, uh, turns out Texas is still kind of healing up, so apologize for that. Either way, uh, yeah, pretty even thus far at about 120%. Aura Sphere is going to miss, but it does dictate the movement just a little bit. Catch the landing, hit him with the Force Palm, and that is good for the first stock. Mata. Yep. Yeah, that's about as academic as it gets, isn't it, DeBuzz? Yeah. And now look at this, we have a, a huge lead for Mata. Nice and huge because Diddy Kong, he does have kill options like say 150 or 160 with like up till, you can do raw smashes, but he doesn't have anything like he can land in neutral and kill that with that. Oh my setup. god. Meanwhile, Lucario, you know, it's Lucario with the lead, and a lot of percent. So, mm. this is a really scary for Mata. <laughs> for, I want to say Poggers, but I know I should not say Poggers <laughs> for Nat Will. He, yeah, no, this is one of those characters that you need to be able to kill early. If you're not able to get the stock off of Lucario, it becomes very, very dangerous. As you were seeing right there, how quickly did uh, Nat Willy get up to 100%? Back up to triple digits. Now, yeah, you're able to kill, but... Even then, oh you God. gotta not get hit by the Aura Spheres. You can't be switching from defense to offense and yeah, not oh expect God. that to get shoved into your face. Like, like if, you're, if you're... Oh my God, Willy, like... You gotta think about your game two plan because this game one... Even if you get the kill... I mean, Lucario doesn't hold these that one well in terms of when he's a low percent. You can kind of just beat him up. But... Even with like 182% 3 stock to one lead, like... He's gotta deal a lot of damage with that 3 stock to 3 one second. This is really scary. I think the Orisphere just did almost 30 damage. Like, he's not like dead, but you know, that was up to you to land like 20% ago. Yeah, and oh my gosh, Lucario just. N n n r n r n Rage was never nerfed with Lucario. I don't know why I was stuttering just there. Perhaps just in utter disbelief that we're seeing this Lucario do this well. However, Nat Willy trying to make it back into this thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, currently, you know, he's. He's got Mata at 99%. One banana toss in the smash can make it happen. With that said, you know, I, I think Mata knows what's going to happen if he makes a mistake. I think he's going to avoid this as much as possible. Hope he doesn't make extra mistakes as a result. Yeah, and it really is going to come down to how well they are able to land, but Lucario, not bit terrible ground speed, definitely has the means to catch up, and certainly when you're getting up to 99%, those Force Palms start to become just a little bit more dangerous. The recovery gets called out again by Mata. It's going to go down into the depths, won't get the... Uh won't get the kill there. I almost said splat. Someone uh, commentated Splatoon <laughs> yesterday. Can you tell? Uh, a little bit, honestly. But uh, nevertheless, getting right into the face of Nat Willy Mata, who's been doing okay, really was, well at ledge. And that's just going to... Sus DI, or lack of, I think. As, uh, just wasn't... Vanished. I don't think they were ready to DI. I think they were just trying to get back uh, onto the stage. They were pressing the button or tilting the stick and just were not expecting... Invincibility to run out there, beautifully timed out by Mata, who will take that game number one. This Lucario, who's been doing relatively well for themselves, all things considered, in some of these uh, in some of these smaller tournaments, wound up with a ninth place finish. 
at uh, one of the Salad Online uh, tournaments just to, <laughs> within the past month. Yeah, I guess the name Salad Online. Like, I know it's a real tournament series. It's going on for a while, but Salad Online. And someone really just was, like eating their food that day and said, "You know what? I like salads." That's now the series. It, it does. It does make you wonder, does it not? <laughs> I will. Uh, I will definitely. I'll definitely concede that. But yeah, though. Uh, this Lucario, just trying to make a name for themselves, has a few decent enough wins on their record, and really a lot of their losses pretty respectable, where they've taken games off of individuals uh, like Bonk, like uh, J Mafia, just people like that are, you know, they're good losses to take, but you also want to get to the point where you're elevating yourself and trying to get past that to where those L's eventually become W's. We'll have to see how well uh, Nat Willie does in terms of responding as they are going with the objectively best Captain Falcon skin. Um, you, you know what? You know, there's Green Falcon, there's Gold Falcon, so there's a bit of a, a debate right there. But you know, it's not debatable. This Falcon is putting a lot more work from the Diddy Kong, that's for sure. It looks like a lot more comfort, right? I'm really seeing a lot faster movement from Willie, to be honest, this game compared to the last game. And like Ooh. understanding how to play match up, even monsters get cross guard as well by the Falcon. You know, sometimes you're comfortable with match up, but then the match comes up and you're like, God damn it. But uh, working really well so far until it isn't. Ooh. Yeah, and that's the problem. When you are not able to get these kills as Captain Falcon, you are made to commit even harder. And yeah, I mean, you're committing with Captain Falcon when you're dashing. So that's always going to be a problem, and you better believe that Mata is going to be there in position, ready to, if not equalize the score, then definitely get an advantage in stocks, as we're seeing right here, three stocks to two. In favor of the Lucario, the Force Palms, yet again, Mata just having their, will, just having their way with Douglas J. Falcon here on Battlefield, and Nat Whitley needs to respond, and fast! You know what, I Jab think it three. Like, moves like Force Palm, it's a like command grab, right? And it's like, the only way you get command grabs on people in like fighting games is they're either massive, or if you can just be too afraid and shield. So every time Mata lands a command grab, he's saying, hey, I know you're afraid and you're gonna shield because you don't want to do anything else, and I will punish that. And that just gets the opponent's head so deep so quickly, right? I think for the fact no. that so much damage when Mario has so much aura that like, I, I don't know, I, I feel like right now Mata really has his point figured out. You know, he has He's got a big lead right now. He hasn't been at deficit yet this entire set. I do think that Nat Willy has at least an inkling of how to make this work. They're going to need to rely on that poking multi-hit Nair just a little bit to build up damage. You don't want that thing to stale, obviously, but it's not like you're going to be killing with that thing anyhow. And at some point, you get them up to a decent amount of damage. Maybe you uh, wind up doing well and connecting with the uh, with the strong hit of knee, which I believe is frame 12 or 13, one of those two. Please, uh, I do apologize for not knowing the exact one, but nevertheless, uh, yeah, it's a, one, it's a one or two frame window, and yeah, if you connect with it, you pretty much have that stock at about 70, 80% at ledge. Like, it's right around here, honestly, yeah. DeBuzz. It's really, like... It's crazy because like it's so rewarding to learn how to do it because that's what you know ends games right like, those really difficult conversions that you can get consistently make you so much scarier right because you know that's like one biggest difference between good players and like not as amazing players is like their conversions they're very good at 50 60 70 in certain situations versus 120 130. But right now you're just seeing a lot we see a lot of pressure from Mata right like he's just running down his opponent, the nair pressure, with some back air pressure, no fear at all, teching in, like, he just does not respect Willy right now, and those Willy just can't hold the advantage state enough to stop with a ruthless rush down for this last stop. I mean, Willy has not really given them much of a reason to respect them. At this point, you kind of have to go for uh, the command grab of your own with that up B. It's what are your better out of shield options anyway? And that's the thing, if you're being driven away from it because of that Force Palm, that's all well and good. You're probably not going to die from the Force Palm here anyway, but still, you kind of have to go for it or else you're not even going to have a chance to get back into this thing. As you're already at triple digits, goes for it, but, oh man, that might have yeah, been just a little, it. uh, the, yeah. He he's just doing now, like, to do it, because the thing is, the thing is, Mato's, like, not shielding much, right? Like, I talked about this before, like, Mato's landing grabs. 
on Wily for shielding. Meanwhile, Mantra isn't okay. really afraid, so he's not shielding versus Wily. So, those up Bs can be useful in the corner to catch your jump. But at the same time, they're not really going to catch their mark too much. With that said, reason Okay. Dodge, and that's it. There you go, the knee! Beautiful! And then you just talk about, like, a setup like that, like the down throw up your knee. Like, a very specific percent one is that it works in kill. Read it at the ledge like a book. Read the roll. You, that's why you got to make sure that your landing game is on point. Nat Willie knew exactly where Mata wanted to go on the stage. And that's where they got the grab into the down throw. And then hitting that knee. Which again, you probably needed that on your second stock. But my goodness, is are they thankful that they got it on the third. Nat Willie was looking like they were getting outplayed for much of that uh, for much of that game but they wound up getting it and yeah strong hit is on frame 14 and i'm sure that they are happy that that wound up uh, being the case so yeah that was insane oh, i think that man. might have also been bad di on monster's part because he probably wasn't expecting that at all so you hold out to knock a couple of my up airs and then just you're gone you're not reacting to that with good di at all not in this situation so, man, I'm yeah. not sure a good day I would have made him live anyway, but regardless, game three, and this is a whole new breath of life that Wiley is maybe. living on right now. That is a hard maybe, but again, just one of those weaknesses of Lucario kind of coming out. Nat Willy able to make that two-stock comeback. They were not really in good shape heading into that, but they played that advantage state perfectly, and... Yeah, that's one of those weaknesses that we don't really like to talk about with Lucario, but it's kind of unavoidable. It's one of the reasons why you just did not see a whole lot of Lucario uh, really that much at all in uh, in the early part of this game. Yeah, I mean, the character's also, like, solid and found, and they nerfed him, actually. They uh, they made his neutral B, like, or spirit conversions very unreliable, because they, I guess, are too broken, I don't know. And a lot of people kind of dropped the character pretty early in the game because of that, because character's always seen as, like, moderately powerful before they move that. But yeah, you know, if the card players are you know, really trying to bring this character to life more recently, definitely, uh, I'd say the character's like very, very dedicated players, the people that do actually play him. Oh, oh absolutely. No! Oh my, no! oh no. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, uh, I don't blame you for that reaction. That's about what uh, that's about what Mata has to be thinking right now. Who started out this set so well, and well, it's not like they're out of it yet. Certainly not when you're getting conversions like that. So two stocks apiece, and certainly room to build it up. And you got to think that Mata is going to benefit from keeping Nat Willie at a distance because if they dash in, then you dash out. You still have some frames to act upon that, just because that's how committal. Uh, dash is for Captain Falcon. You really want this thing pressing buttons in a place where you're out of danger so you can take advantage of it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think one thing he's mentioned when Falcon dashes, he basically has to choose to jump or like attack or something like with dash that he, he very much limits his options in exchange for how much raw speed he has on it and how powerful his options out of that dash are. But um, really, basically, anytime he does that, Mata can just throw a aura uh, screen and say, No, stop that. They can't do it in this advantage right now. And oh my god, I just look at the cards. And that's like, he, he's. I'm not sure Mata has a hard read that wasn't right, or if he's just fishing at this point. It's hard to tell. It does make you wonder. So, this is not going good. I think the longer you play the Lucario player, like, and the more you figure out how to play the, like, the character, he's not exactly a strong character. He kind of figures out his weaknesses and how to exploit them. Oh, spot dodges the, yeah, the tilt. And might as well mix those in as well. Just try to instill a little bit of doubt into Nat Willie's, uh, into Nat Willie's offensive game. Just because if you get this, uh, if you get this Falcon hesitating just a little bit, you're generally okay. Now, both are at triple digits here at the buzz. Obviously, oh, that back air is going to take the second stock of Nat Willie, but you have to think perhaps uh, Mata has to have something in mind in order oh, to get this. Uh... No up throw, I'm surprised there was no Ooh. up throw into like a big combo. I guess the side is more just like potential right? Here's what, that's it. That's there you it. go. Yeah, we go the yeah there you go. That was up. That double jump was definitely a huge panic by Wiley. I think Mata kind of threw up in there. Just, you know, he covered that space because it makes sense if you get it. Cool, if not, you know, risk anything. And man, he got, he struck gold. 
by throwing a penny on the floor, I swear. Seemed to be the case. Yeah, Nat Wiley. A uh, valiant effort and good job taking it to three games, but it was ultimately Mata who wound up getting the better of Cat.